Hello everyone, <clears throat> welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Tarot and this is going to be Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon and Taurus Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for December 31st to January 6th, 2019. So uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, I want to remind you once again that that is a general reading for Taurus star sign and uh, for that reason is going to resonate in a different level and in a different way for every single <clears throat> different Taurus uh, in this world. So in this video I will do my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread but at the end you have to align them to your personal situation. If you want me to do that for you just like I'm doing for the examples in this video then that is a subject of personal reading and for personal readings you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and uh, there you will find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. So these are uh, the four tarot cards uh, for your week the first card which is the Ten of Wands is sitting as a topic of your week then what we do have that is going to be the World card which is the very core of uh, the situation the Page of Wands that is going to be the challenges which are causing predicaments and the last one that is going to be the Hangman which is the guidance that uh, Tarot is offering to you Tauruses so this is a pretty sound reading here uh, <clears throat> you will have to, um, I don't know exactly the English word here, but uh, you Tauruses will have to consume what you have made for yourself um, in, the recent, uh, in the recent past. That is very well described over here. So this week is going to be a very busy week. Very busy week to really reap the, uh, the fruits of your labor either regarding relationship or either regarding career. It does look like that uh, <clears throat> you will have to bear the consequences of your actions one way or another. Important thing with the Ten of Wands is that one should not presume that this is a, a very bad card. The card points to a, a, a situation or a, a state of one that um, one already have what they have worked for or what they have thought they have worked for. That is very important. So just to give you an example here, mm, let's say that you were working on a, uh, a project into your career, you know, just to finish that project and to realize that, you know, this, uh, this project itself has to be sustained into the future. So it's not like you have finalized it and you can put it in the past. It's just you need to carry it on uh, further into the future. Another example here with this card is that if you have gave promise uh, to somebody in the recent past and now that promise needs to be fulfilled although you do have so many other things on your platter. So it's kind of like feeling overburdened as uh, you have miscalculated a particular thing and overburdened by activities. I'm not talking about emotional overburden. Uh, overburdening here. Maybe what you have initiated and what you need to carry on throughout this week is something that you enjoy and that you like. You may not have much time to spend in it but again it could be it's something that you really really enjoy. Anyway the Ten of Wands is associated as well with uh, that one needs to follow a certain code of conduct. Of conduit. So that means that you need to follow the rules that you have attached yourself into as you cannot simply withdraw from it. And that is well described here as well with the world card which basically signifies only one thing, you know. That is the culmination of your efforts, that is the uh, results of, that is the result of your toils. And if you don't like it, well that is that could be for a couple of reasons either you did not make uh, your calculations correctly or you had been misled either way uh, it seems that this is going to be again a, a week where you have to bury or uh, carry excuse me or suffer those consequences <clears throat> 
Now, however, there is another hand to look at this reading. Now, the Ten of Wands, very, uh, there is a, a very slim chance, ex excuse me, that the Ten of Wands, it may represent a, a wonderful opportunity. However, this opportunity will be mixed with many other activities if that's the case. So you will not have much time to explore this opportunity or to give uh, the necessary attention that the opportunity requires. However, uh, you can, uh, let's say, store it or delay it for another week. Um, and that uh, that could be something very true for you Tauruses because the world card as well represents <clears throat> a, a different perspective. So it's kind of like, or a new perspective, excuse me. So it's kind of like one thing ends and especially as it is in the root of the matter one thing has ended in the past and now something new is starting to form and to shape and shame that you don't have much of a, a time to um, to attend to it or to give it a, a, a proper attention. With the world card it's as well important here to be acknowledged that whatever happened uh, or whatever have been brought to its end it is already over. So as much as I don't like to say it, you know, for example, if your relationship has ended a couple of weeks prior, well, uh, with this card here as the root of the situation, it means that that relationship ended for good. If a trouble of yours ended prior to this week, then it means that this trouble of yours ended for good. So it does depend again what you have experienced in the previous couple of weeks to a month of how this reading or how these cards are going to uh, influence upon your life <clears throat> or you have start or you have ended your uh, life of being single by starting hanging out with someone well you have start hanging out with someone for good all right <clears throat> so Again, it does depend what you have recently initiated, although is going to be mixed here with a additional uh, activities that you simply cannot postpone. It is kind of like a responsibilities. Now, the issue here, however, that will be the page of uh, the page of wants. So the page of wants this represents everything new, or the page of wants represents um, <clears throat> how can I place it? Uh, being experimental maybe uh, it's kind of like uh, hoping or wanting something new to come uh, to come in your way so you can have a little bit of varieties or or so you can escape from your daily routine well unfortunately for what it seems this ain't going to happen at least not throughout this week and it's not like you already need it because you do have quite too many things on your uh, on your shoulders now to take care of so from another hand this is a, a very positive card falling here into the challenges which are causing predicaments which points again that nothing new either in form of enterprise something exciting or for that matter shenanigans are going to uh, pop up <clears throat> spontaneously throughout the week so this week is going to be completely deprived from surprises and is going to be as well be deprived from um, singularity what I mean is that you will not be alone for good or for bad that being said, in case we are following the example of the project, you will be either supervised or you will be assigned someone to work with you. If we are talking about being single and you want to stay that way, well, there will be that kind of a guy or a girl that simply doesn't take no for an answer as well, and etc., etc. Basically, you will have to deal with this person that it is a, a circumstantially uh, <clears throat> displayed here by the uh, page of wands as well it's very important that you keep your uh, original ideas for yourself because the page of wands it is pointing that if you do have a, a brilliant ideas no one is going to believe you that they actually can be materialized so uh, <clears throat> until you find someone to listen to your lonely voice uh, that you are trying to shout out in the desert for example uh, you should really keep those uh, those ideas for yourself so you have 
you have an idea for a private business but you don't face a support throughout this week that should not discourage you all right but keep that idea in the back of your mind because somewhere along the way throughout this year for example someone is really going to listen to your idea and is going to find it lucrative and then we do have the uh the hangman so as a guidance, so what the hangman shows is that this overload that you are going to experience throughout this week is going to be resolved on its own accord. And uh, basically you should not try to abandon any enterprise just so you can, um, how can I place it, just so you can feel a little bit lighter on a front of enterprises. It's just those enterprises are going to start resolving one after another and what is the best thing with this card is that the blockages and the problems as well for you or that you do have are going to start resolving themselves on their own accord. Also the hangman points that uh, you may start thinking in a, a different way. In a different way, in a sense that uh, you are going to discover better ways of how to uh, of how to deal with certain undertakings or with the predicaments as well. So, if you, for example, having a trouble into your relationship, uh, they, these cards are pointing that this trouble was uh, materialized before that week here, and you cannot simply escape from that trouble, but you have to carry on throughout, throughout the week, along with all the responsibilities that you do already have, trying to find a, a new way or a way on your own to resolve this trouble is not going to uh, prove itself successful, but what you have to do here, it is just wait the time to come right, and that trouble that you do have into your relationship is going to resolve itself on its own accord. So basically this is one of the way how that reading could um could basically manifest itself again it's going to manifest itself in a different level for every single one of you that was just an, an example so uh next we what we're going to see here is the lenormand cards and the lenormand cards are going to show us a uh, event that uh, you should either uh, look forward to or try to avoid So I'm going to shuffle them really well. So let's see what we got here. The first card that we do have, this is going to be the uh, the path, and the path usually represents a choice or a multiple ways how one can approach a situation. Then what we do have, these are the lilies. The lilies represent elders. They represent as well... Um, prosperity in a certain well more like material prosperity let's say money although there is a better card for money happiness they also represents happiness here and the last one that is going to be uh, the um, the lilies also represents sex and uh, the last one this is going to be the snake the snake represents either betrayal enemy it could also represent the word clever so the way I see these cards here is that if you do have um, the opportunity, for example, to have sex with someone um, and this someone is promising you great stuff, just don't believe them. That is a lie according to those cards. But the major point of these uh, Lenormand cards are showing that your, if you do have difficulties with your family, your family will going to give you a, a choice to make and you have to be very clever about it right so uh, you need to take your time to uh, to basically make that decision and most likely if you wait long enough as these cards the tarot cards are showing the right decision is going to become obvious for you <clears throat> again if you are patient enough and with the hangman if you are open-minded enough in order to foresee it so that being said guys uh, this was your weekly tarot reading and lenormand for uh, december 31st to january 6 2018 uh, 2019 excuse me i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and once again this was a general reading for taurus 
uh, star sign and for that reason this reading will resonate in a different level for every single one of you. Uh, if you want a uh, your personal situation to be analyzed just like I, I did for the examples in this video, well that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rod signing out now, see you next time, bye!